Hello oh guys, I'll take Productions here, and this here is a vlog showing my experience at Entertainment Junction. So yeah, I have a few things. Yeah, I'm there. It, yeah. I mean, I was hoping to go last year, but due to it getting canceled due to COVID, it kind of put things on. What? I'm real. I mean, I've been waiting to go to this meal for like a year and a half now. Oh yeah, I'll be leaving shortly. I'll be leaving in a little bit. So yeah, see you guys then. Well, guys, I've made it. See you guys when I get inside. So, I'm now inside. Yep. Oh, God. I don't give you that. 
but I can give you one. Hey, I'm not for sale. Ah, it's up for the bank. I am. Only oh, no. sold. I mean, I was look. I was looking. Yeah, that's fine. I just got out of Entertainment Junction, so I'll be heading, I'm heading home as we speak, so. Yeah, a really good time there, I met a lot of people that I like. And yeah, and when I get home, I'll show off my haul of the stuff I bought, so see you guys then. So yeah, I'm back home, well, at my dad's place. Oh, uh, yeah, here's the picture of the, all the signatures I got. I got, they're all from these different people. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to display this in my room when I get home. So, now on to the stuff. Under the 
first things I got. So, first things I got from this one person, well, first out of the 10 things I bought from one dude were six circus train cars, which, in case you're wondering why I bought all these, which I only bought these for the chassis. Yeah, I was going to be making some custom wagons, like 3D print some wagon bodies to put on these chassis. So, I wanted to get some chassis or some cargo cars to the chassis, like take chassis off of them, so. Yeah, I have some circus cars that will be used. And some of these will be turned into little pieces of scrap metal, like scrap items, like those little things of scrap material. Next, I got one of these little Imaginarium trucks, which I'll be turning into another short open wagon. Yeah, I just need to get some balsa wood to build up the sides. Yeah, next is a Timothy, which Timothy will be updated and repainted and modified to look better. Oh, yeah. A Thomas, which I will be customizing. And a Duncan, which I'll be turning this into an Ivo Hue, because Ivo Hue has a similar design. Duncan, like he's a bit of an Andrew Barclay design, just like Duncan. And why, I know there's a wind railway I have a hue out there, but it's too big. Now your engines are meant to be small. Instead of like big and chunky. Like the I have a hue model, which I'll be using, the Duncan will be used for, to make it. Just have to fill up some side tanks with balsa. Next thing I got was some capsule play rail track. Ooh, were, oh, I got all these here were, all of these were $2 each. Next thing was, this was $5, which I got the capsule play rail track. Let's see, there's one hill piece. See curves there's nope another part of a hill Let's see five seven Nine, nine curves. One, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, and twelve straights, and a riser. Yeah, kind of happy to have some capsule play rail track. Which, I am kind of getting into capsule play rail. They don't take up much room, and they look real, the models look really cool. And, also, this was a late birthday gift from my dad. It was, these old, like, let me get it out of the baggie. They are... A little capsule play rail bridge and three figures, which these guys if are really good to have around. These little guys here, which they're really good to have around. So I know Ryatron 12, he makes re resin castings of these, which I might buy a few hundred of them one day. 
to use on a little capsule player layout. So I'm finally, ha I'm happy to have three of these guys. Hopefully I can get more of these guys one day. And also there's a little capsule player bridge in there, which is nice. And also from Ryan 12, I did buy off of him some capsule player items uh, along with a couple of the railway items, which will be coming soon. So, yeah, now, speaking of capsule player, I got from another guy, which these were all $2 each. Three Annie's. Yeah. I bought three of them because I just wanted to have more track. One of these Annie's will be getting the stickers, and the others will probably be customized. Which these, all these, which I think I might have said this before, were $2 each. Oh yeah, now... No, and the stuff I got from another person, which... I gotta take along Annie. And two capsule Playrail Clarbos, which unfortunately they have the little things on the sides. Which, I'll probably just customize these Clarbos anyway. Along with two of those. Annie's like just turn them into random coaches Yeah, okay, and now these all three of these were Two dollars each just like those and this Annie I got this because I was gonna do is get like another set of Annie and Clarabelle and turn them into the Scarlory railway coaches just, I have to cut this part off of the mold and take, drill them off the chassis, and I have myself a set of, just put them onto some wooden railway chassis, which, these chassis once shortened, well, these chassis here, once I cut them down the size, like, after I resize, uh, wait a minute, I think they might actually be, might be able to fit if I cut down the chassis a little bit. So yeah, these will probably be going towards making Agnes, Ruth, Lucy, and Jemima, which I'll be trying to get another pair of Annie and Clarabelle for. But yeah, and it's nice to have a few more capsule player items, but... Hopefully I can get a lot, giant lot of them one day. Next was stuff I bought off Dax Productions, which I got a really beaten up, ruined Murdoch, one really Murdoch, a Molly Tender, and a Rosie. Rosie will be appearing in the series. I will be repainting her in the red that she appears in. Like in the newer series, like when, in season 21 when she got repainted. And Mur... Murdoch along with the Molly Tender will be turned into a Murdoch. I will I all I have to do is just re put some rubbing alcohol on his face or a nail polish remover to clean it up. Cut off his boiler. Well cut out rip out his boiler and put in a pipe to give him that look. To make him give him a more accurate boiler. Yeah, and now, I stuff I got from Useful Engine 11, which he was selling some of his scrap engines, which I bought these for parts, mostly, which... Or uh, James, which was part of an old City of Churro custom that he did. Another dead James. And a uh, Peter Sam, which the Peter Sam I got for the boiler, which I'll be using on my Percy custom. Because I'm thinking about updating my Railway Series Percy. My Percy custom I made, which is why I got this. Here's Sam to rip off the boiler from. And use little bits and bobs for other future customs. Same with the James, I might replace his dome. And try to turn them into another 
background. I'm not sure what to do with this one. These two Jameses. I might try finding, customizing them into new engines. Now, next onto this one guy, which he was selling these two customs off, and I had to get them, which I was saving these two for last. But he was selling a couple of his customs off, which I decided just to get them since I wanted to have a more, a good-looking set of codes for my series. But I'll just get them out. They are custom models of Annie and Clarabelle. Yeah, these look really nice. These were $30 for the pair. Yeah, I know it seems a little steep, but I just wanted to have it. It saves me from the trouble of making my own Annie and Clarabelle. Which, these were obviously made out of express coaches. So, yeah. Can't wait to put them behind my Railway Series Accurate Thomas one day. So yeah, so that was my whole trip. So yeah, so this is Outtake Productions signing off.